Hey there, rock and roll junkies. Charlie here with another Grey Wolf review. This episode, ACDC, with their album, Let There Be Rock. Now, this is my first ACDC shirt, the first one I ever bought. It's got some wear and tear on it, but still there, it's still rock and roll. ACDC holds a very special place in my heart because they were the first band that I listened to as far as rock and roll music. You know, back in eighth grade, I listened to TNT, and from that point forward, my life has just been rock hard, rock and heavy metal, and ACDC was the gateway to that, so I love them so much for that. So I'm here celebrating Let There Be Rock, which actually turns 40 years old. So let's get started. Let There Be Rock released July 25th, 1977, 40 years ago. So let's start it with track number one, Go Down. My God, I just love, uh, you know, just one, two, three, bam, then the drums come in, the guitars, the bass are all in your face, and then good old Bon Scott on vocals sounds amazing. Oh my God, I love Phil Rudd on the drums. Nobody, nobody, nobody knows the drums in ACDC better than Phil Rudd, no one. And then Angus and Malcolm with those classic wrists, it's very much a blues number, this one, you know, just made into hard rock. I, I love it. It's, um, I love Anx's just like heavy, bluesy, heavy solo. And then that part where Angus is like mimicking uh, Bond's vocals on the guitar, it's just super cool. Uh, Deep Purple would do that. I just love when they do that. I think Zeppelin did that also. I just love that. And then it has just this loud, it's great finish. I love this song. Let's move to number two. It's Doggy Dog. It just has this loud intro right off the bat. Fantastic riffs. The drums and the bass are just pounding away that beat. And then Bond vocals are just front and center. They sound so good here. I, I love this song. It's like, it's easily one of my top Bond Scott songs. And I just real 70s hard rock. I love this. Uh, I love the backup, you know, when it's Doggy Dog. I love that. Great, just great song. Let's move it to number three. This is the title track. This is Let There Be Rock. Classic, just fast intro. Um, and the bass just sounds amazing with the drums. Uh, and then with Bond's vocals, uh, great. Just bass and drums and Bond's vocals, just amazing right there. And then those power chords come, you know, raining in. And I just love the real, just heaviness, loudness of this song. I just love it. I love, uh, you know, the, the lyrics. The lyrics here are great. Uh, I love the work, great work from Angus. And then Malcolm is just holding it down with those riffs. And Phil is just out of this world in this song, just pounding away on those drums. It just has such a big finish, this song. I love this song, classic song. Moving to number four, Bad Boy Boogie. Another loud, just booming intro, this one. I love the lyrics on this. It's just another classic. Another classic, 70s ACDC. Malcolm is on fire here. Uh, a blistering solo from Angus. Uh, pure, just, just unadulterated hard rock. And then feeling those drums, it just, you know, you just need Phil, man, for that heavy sound, you just need him. And this is a perfect example of it. And it just has just like this quick ending. I love it, great song. Number five, Problem Child. Uh, this song was already on a previous album, so, the first time I heard this, I thought this is kind of odd. It's it's it's. I kind of I don't really know what to say about this. I, I kind of I really like the song originally on the other album. It's the same exact song because the Australian. There's two versions of this album: the Australian version and the international version. The Australian version has another song on it. The international version has this one on it. But it's just weird that there's two international albums with the same song on it exactly the same song but okay that's just it's a great song again uh, it's not new though but i love the bass guitar on it i love it lyrically uh bond sounds perfect here just flawless on this one uh, drums are on point malcolm and angus just drive to this explosive finish i love problem child even though i kind of wish we would have put another song in here a newer song instead of having basically two songs they're exactly the same in the 70s catalog, but oh well. Let's move into number six. This is Overdose. I love how the guitar, you know, just comes in after just a few notes, kind of like 
what we get. But it does that a few times, and then the drums, you know, come in, and then it's joined by the guitars and the bass, and the ball, the ball just starts rolling and it's on, and there's pure just rock and roll, and then Bond comes in, and you know, you you know, it's a party at that point. Lyrically, it's a masterpiece. It's very like uh, relatable to me. This song, yes, yeah, so the song "Overdose" is very relatable to me. It's not about a drug overdose. Like, maybe it could be. It's more about, um, you know, <laughs> it's more about falling in love with somebody. You're overdosing on someone because you're so in love with them. You know, it's, I think it's one of the greatest things this band ever made, the 70s band. I just love Angus' solo. Again, I love the lyrics. Fantastic song. Just great song. I love this one. Let's move in to number seven, Hell. Ain't a bad place to be. I love the guitars here. Although Mark Evans, the original bassist, who this was actually his last album with ACDC, he said that the guitars were out of tune here, but that really lended to the song having like this nasty, gritty feel that's just classic ACDC sound. You know, I love that. It's just another classic song with another classic performance by Bon Scott. Great lyrics, a steady bass, it sounds so cool near the end of the bass. I love it. And then another fiery just solo from Mangus Young here. Uh, <laughs> I love you think the song's over, but then it continues. I just love that. I love that. Great song. Let's move in to number eight. Whole lot of Rosie. Classic. Classic intro riff. This is just ACDC, man. This might be my favorite song on the album. It's just a real rocker, man. Malcolm, it's great, he's great on rhythm here. Classic ACDC through and through at its best. This is a song you always hear live. And Phil is on fire on this one. Phil is just hitting those drums. This is some of Bond's, I feel, best work. You know, lyrically, vocally, just energy-wise. It never gets old, this song. It never gets old. Angus' solo is just pure magic. I love the speed of this song. It just has a great finish, just a perfect song. A song that I just love hearing over and over again. And this is a song that, you know, from this point, ACDC, from Bon Scott, so now has had three singers, Bon Scott, Brian Johnson, and currently Axl Rose, yes, from Guns N' Roses. And I feel all three have done great variations of this specific song, A Whole Lot of Rosie. I just love hearing it. I don't care who's singing it. I don't care who's in the band. I just, as long as Angus is doing that solo, it just sounds great. It sounds great. I love this song. And, you know, this is actually the end of the album. Just right there, number eight. End of the album. I gotta say, 40 years. 40 years of this album. And it's just great. It's fantastic. One of the greatest things I have ever heard. It's not, it's not, I'll tell you this, it's not my favorite Bon Scott era, 70s ACDC album. It's not, well, it's not my ACDC album of any era, period. It's not. Um, that one, one will come out later. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but I will say it is a Bon album. My favorite ACDC album is a Bon album and it contains my favorite ACDC song. But we're not talking about that one, we're talking about this one. Let There Be Rock. Let There Be Rock came in at a very pivotal point for this band. They just weren't doing that great at the time. And, you know, they released this and it just blew up on the world and just an all rock and roll. And everybody just was like in awe of what they put out here. And that's the thing with ACDC. Uh, Mark Evans, original bassist said, these guys never did demos. They never did demos. They just would come in, in two weeks, they'd have the songs already done in the studio. And you know, it's just just go in, do some rock and roll, and get out. And you hear that in this album. You really hear that just fiery energy from the band, just going in, playing their heart out. And this is a band that really, at this point, can do no wrong. You can do anything, and it just was a masterpiece. So I think they did a great job here. Fantastic job. I just I just love this thing. This thing is great. So let's move on to my peak of the vid. So for my pick of the vid, I'm going to pick it up a little bit. My pick of the vid will be, this time, Ramones with their second album, Leaving Home. Uh, I know it's a little odd, a little odd to be uh, <laughs> basically recommending a punk 
album on a hard rock review. But I, I really, I've been listening a lot to Ramones recently, and Leaving Home has always been one of my favorite albums. It might just be my favorite album, I don't know. But it's a really good album, and you should check that out. Check it out, it's fantastic. If you have it, hear it again. But that being said, if you enjoyed the review, like and subscribe. For more reviews, comment your thoughts on ACDC's Let There Be Rock 40 year anniversary. With that being said, remember to stay metal, stay devil, stay evil.